Here is, and look, I want to make this clear again. You know, I said this yesterday with the John Kelly thing. Here is uh, Secretary Mattis. He's Defense Secretary Mattis. You know how I know he's not a general? He's not wearing a uniform. And if he was general, he wouldn't be allowed to be Defense Secretary. And even the fact that he was a general so close to this, he had to get a waiver. So he's not a general. He's just this old guy wearing a suit who happens to be Defense Secretary. Here he is uh, explaining how um, we can have these uh, low-yield uh, deterrent missile strikes. This, sh- this should be fun. Mr. Secretary, uh, if I could ask you about the uh, recently uh, released nuclear posture review. Yes. Calls for smaller yield nuclear weapons to be added to our arsenal. You're Pause it. I just wanted saying. to just, uh, you're getting a question from a reporter who's talking about the uh, nuclear um, review that we've done and the, the idea of these uh, low yield, presumably low yield in terms of nuclear uh, material. Sounds weak. Yeah. Uh, and they're deterrent missile strikes. So it's just like, just a little, we're going to give you a sprinkle of nuke. Nuclear weapons to be added to our arsenal. You're on record as saying there's no such thing as a tactical nuke. Anytime a nuclear weapon is used, it's a strategic game changer. So how, how does this new posture review add to global stability? Yeah. Because there are many people who believe that if you've got a smaller yield nuclear weapon, you might be more inclined to use it. Right. They remember that what we're talking about here is the nuclear deterrent. And in that nuclear deterrent, we believe that some nations could miscalculate one in particular, and that nation could assume that if they used in a conventional fight a small yield bomb, we would not respond with a very uh, large yield bomb. Our response to this is to make a small yield bomb and say, don't miscalculate, it's a deterrent. Remember, deterrence is dynamic. It changes from year to year, from decade to decade. We have to address deterrence in its current construct. So we do this. The idea is to raise the threshold. Don't even think about lowering the threshold to a conventional fight and escalating it to one small yield nuclear weapon, strategically changing the game, and then think our choice is either surrender or suicide. All right. So uh, apparently what Mattis is saying here is we think there might be and I have a feeling he's talking about North Korea. He could be talking about Iran. But he's saying that we think that they think that if they use a small nuke, we don't have a bomb small enough, a nuke bomb small enough to use. So we won't use a nuke. So what we need to do is actually get a smaller nuke that is more usable so that they're afraid that we would use that in that scenario. That's basically what he's saying there. Um, It's so nice that we've made it to this place in time. Sometimes you need a driver. Sometimes you need a nine iron. There you go. Exactly. And, And, you know, like... It's hard to know whether or not Mattis is up there performing for the um, lunatic who is the president or if um, the lunatics who are not president feel like, hey, that lunatic's not going to notice what we're doing and we're going to get away with this crap. Both scenarios, it seems to me, are pretty scary. Almost the, the latter is even worse. But uh, that's where we're at. And Hillary wouldn't have done the same fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> same fucking thing. But you're a coward, so you, vote, you go, oh, you don't want tactical nukes in a new posture review that sets off a new global arms race because you're a fucking coward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the moon could fall on Lake Michigan, too. So, uh, all right.